Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. So I have a list of strange and mysterious footage to show you guys, some new UFO footage, some strange happenings in the sky. But before I get to that, I want to briefly touch and kind of give you an update on uh, this story regarding what appeared to be this massive plume that was captured by one of the orbiters orbiting planet Mars that seemed to be coming up out of a dormant volcano that is on Mars called Arcea Mons. Uh, one of four of the most massive volcanoes on planet Mars. And so if you haven't seen that video, after having discovered this, I posted it and I posed the simple question, which was that, well, what is this? Why have we not heard anything about this? It appears to be a massive object, and I never said it was for sure a volcanic plume. Because again, these volcanoes are said to have been lying dormant for millions, like 50 million plus years. And so could this be a new eruption? Because whatever this is, that again, appears to be a plume, that's what we were describing it as, as we attempted to put into context what it looked like, and it very well may not be a plume at all. As I said in that video, it could be something natural. It could be something man-made, or at least made by something else altogether down on Mars. We don't know. And it was really strange to me why the space agencies have been silent about this because usually even the most minuscule findings on planet Mars are followed very quickly by these big press junkets, press releases, press conferences, multiple news articles all over the place. I mean, you cannot miss them when they happen, when something is found on Mars. So I thought it was very strange that even if this was natural, we weren't hearing anything about it. And so the question stood and stands for me, what is this massive object casting a shadow down on Mars, stretching over half the planet, or almost half of the planet? And since then, I still haven't really gotten a good answer. However, uh, we do have one person by the name of Dr. Tanya Harrison, who is the Director of Research for Arizona State University's Space Technology and Science Initiative, who posted on Twitter that this is not a volcanic plume at all, and is in fact nothing more than just your basic water ice condensing in the form of these giant clouds over the summit of Arcea Mons, and that this is pretty common over this specific area at this time of year. Uh, so basically, according to Dr. Tanya Harrison, this is just a massive water ice cloud. And in her tweets about this, she references some past images um, taken, snapped by uh, the India orbiter back in 2015 or 16 uh, of Arcea Mons, where it appears that there are indeed clouds floating over uh, this area. The first one um, is a much closer up shot of Arcea Mons, where we can see sort of opaque cloud cover spiraling out from directly above Arcea Mons. And here we have uh, yet another, much more clear image of our Sea of Mons here off to the right, and what appears to be some clouds stretching off of the uh, edge of our Sea of Mons, uh, very similarly to what we're seeing in these new uh, orbiter images. And uh, after having looked at this, originally I figured, well, maybe case closed. Maybe these are just water ice clouds. But as I compared this image from 2015 to these new images here, I have to say that whatever this plume looking object is in these new images, it, it, to me it looks way more massive and uh, dense, more solid and dense, uh, casting a clear shadow than this image here from 2015 showing this, you know, extremely thin, a very opaque line of clouds directly above this area. And from looking at this, I would imagine that if we were looking at this same cloud from this image, zoomed all the way out to where these new images were, I highly doubt it would look like what we're seeing here. And that's just my opinion, because these images were snapped at around 9,000 kilometers above Mars. These new images appear to be around 90,000 kilometers away, and this plume or cloud trail, if that's what it is, I mean, is stretching almost over half of the planet, it almost looks like. And it just looks way more dense, way more thick, way more reflective. The width of it 
everything about it just seems way more massive than what we have seen in these past photos of planet Mars. And when you look at any past photos of these water ice clouds that have been seen on Mars, they're usually very random, they're very opaque, almost see-through in many cases, they're not casting a shadow, they're not extremely thick and long in a perfect line like we're seeing in these new images. Not to mention, uh, here is a picture uh, from back in 2012 that I've also featured before of another one of these uh, giant plumes that this time was actually seen streaming off of the planet and into space. Now, I've never seen ice clouds do this before. And furthermore, we're always hearing about how Mars has little to no atmosphere. And what atmosphere they do have is extremely thin, and yet when we see images, it looks like a clear blue sky. Now suddenly we have giant clouds stretching for thousands of miles. And uh, images like this showing a massive plume not only stretching up into the atmosphere, but clearly coming off of the planet and stretching for thousands of miles into space. Uh, again, what they call just your typical uh, cloud, but I've, I've never seen clouds stream off into space like this. So, I don't know guys. Because whatever this is, if this is one of these ice clouds, it looks like one of the most massive ones they've ever captured. And I would think that that would be definitely noteworthy and newsworthy. And uh, it's strange to me that they're not talking about it. So, again, tell me what you guys think down below. Now, let's get to this new footage. And I'm not going to talk a whole lot. I'm just going to go one by one right through it. So, to start, we have multiple different clips here taken of some very strange lights captured over Sao Paulo, Brazil that appeared to just sit static in the sky. They didn't go up, they didn't go left, right, they just sat there and took some very strange forms. So check these out. Next, we have yet another strange glowing or illuminated object, this time in what appears to be a more cylinder-like shape, almost like it's streaking through the sky, but again, it, it looks as if it's sitting completely still in the night skies over South Korea. Okay, so once again, I'm totally stumped. Uh, here are some different filtered shots of it.
Now, uh, in a recent video, if you guys remember, I featured this piece of footage where a man here in the States was driving down the road when he spotted this very eerie, deep purple sort of light or aura just hovering in the sky in the distance. And here, yet again, we have another new video of another one of these mysterious purple lights yet again witnessed. Here it is again, it's another strange purple cloud. Second time, different night. And lastly today, we have some footage uh, sort of sparking fears once again of uh, potential side effects from geoengineering or just your natural sort of striped clouds. Either way, uh, the viewer and the uh, capture of this thought that these formations were truly a sight to see and worth getting on film. You know, uh, this uh, video reminds me of uh, something else I've seen before, only captured from space, and that took on this similar sort of striped, straight-lined clouds in a line one after the other that then took the shape of a sharp square. And so, I will just leave you guys with that. So, with that said, that is all I have for you guys at this point. Thank you all for stopping by. Be sure to share, subscribe, stay tuned, and I will see you all back in just a bit.